What's up, Hockey Town? Welcome to Coffee with Kali, presented by Tim Hortons. Today, I'm joined by Matt Luff. Finally, we were supposed to do it towards the beginning of the season. We've kind of had some bad luck to start. Yeah, it wasn't an uh, ideal start. So I think when you asked me the second time, I was uh, seeing if it was bad luck to get a, to go on the show <laughs> no. or not. But no. we made it finally in one piece. Yes, here we are. All right, so tell me about the beginning of that season. So you took a puck to the face. Yeah, I took a puck to the face against Minnesota at home. Yeah. Ended up with uh, a lot of fake teeth and some <laughs> stitches. And then uh, eight days later, obviously got hit again against Montreal. and ended up with some uh, some new hardware in my body. So. Mm, yeah, metal detector going off yeah. when you walk through kind of Airports thing. Airports love me. All right, so let's talk a little bit about a young Matt Luff. You said you were born in Windsor, but you grew up in Ontario. Yeah. So it's kind of the rite of passage when you know, you're a Canadian kid to try hockey, but what got you into the sport? I think really just I started playing on the street with my mom when like I wasn't in school yet and like my dad was at work. So like, it was just kind of me and my mom in the driveway and. I used to just go out with her and just kind of mess around. And then I think, like, really, my parents are the reason I got into it. I mean, I used to hate going on the ice and skating. My parents used to, like, put me on the ice. I used to sit down and cry and, like, until they took me off. And, but I'd stand on, like, the outside and, like, stick handle and, like, pass the puck around. But my parents kind of just kept me on the ice. And, you know, they never really forced me to play, but they kind of just kept me going and it kind of worked out. But, yeah, like you said, like, once you're born, a, like, a in Ontario, you're, you're an automatic hockey player. I feel yeah. like it just comes with the territory. So you said your mom got you into it for the most part. Do you have any siblings? Yeah, I have an older sister. Mm -hmm. She uh, works for Bell Media. It's kind of just like T-Mobile or like Verizon. Yeah. So she does that out of Toronto. So she's, I'd say she's the brains of the family and I'm the athletic <laughs> abilities. So she didn't play hockey? No, no, she played rugby. My dad played rugby. So oh, that's cool. All right, so we talked a little bit about your, the start of your hockey career. What about the journey? You used to be out on the West Coast, yeah. but now you're a little closer to home. What's it been like to be kind of neighbors now with your parents? Uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, you go out West, I think a couple, like, a couple times a year my parents come out and mm -hmm. then moving to Nashville, they came out a bit more, mm -hmm. but being this close, I think my dad's like three hours door to door. So right now, any home game, it's, they're coming out. So it's pretty cool. And I mean, Listen, like this journey wouldn't be possible without them. So mm -hmm. it's kind of cool to have them at most games. And I mean, without them, I don't think I'd be here. So I think getting them to any games possible is pretty cool. I hear there's a story um, between you and a couple NHL players that you are someone's child's godfather. And yeah. there's kind of a funny story behind that. Yes. Can you explain it? Can you walk us through that? So it was my second year in the league mm -hmm. and it's 21 living out west and obviously like you live on your own it's pretty fun and then uh matt molson was in ontario and mm -hmm. gave me a call and said hey do you want to live with me my wife and my two kids and his wife's sister is jonathan quick's wife so like okay. it's kind of cool because like they're all in the same area yeah. so went through that and like live with them so now um matt molson's daughter's godparent so it's kind of just cool like that and then now it's like any family trips that they do or visits it's like you're in the group text and it's like hey like thursday we're going here and it's like i gotta be there thursday so you go there and or it's someone's birthday you're going to the birthday so you can't miss much but it's all on my phone like i have it set every year on the date and every birthday so i get like monthly like before birthday like notifications so i get the gifts going i'm on top of it oh my <laughs> i'm on gosh. top of it but i mean they're awesome both families so I think to be a godparent's pretty cool. And when I told my parents, they were like, what, 21? <laughs> yeah, they're like, are you sure? And I was like, yeah, I guess. So I don't know, I should check and see what I'm doing. Well, if anyone's looking for a godfather. I'm right up there. It's this right guy right there. here. All right, something else I found out with um, watching some of the stuff we posted on our social media platforms. You mentioned you're not a fan of ketchup, bananas, and blueberries. What's the story behind that? People came for you on the yeah, ketchup part. Yeah, the guy on Twitter that tweets me every morning and, I, and <laughs> night and anytime you have ketchup, I see those and I, I want to meet you. So I do, I do see those. But uh, Not a ketchup guy. No, ketchup, it's just like anything tomatoes, like even like sliced tomatoes. It's just like the city for me, like it just doesn't like do it. And then like bananas are just like squishy and like mushy. It's like baby food. It's just like. And blueberries, it's like you bite into something, and it's just like an explosion of like mush. Right? <laughs> so to me, it's just not it. 
<laughs> to me, it's not it. <laughs> Explanations, you do bring up good points. Yeah, so it's like, I got good points. So we actually have some blind taste testing we no, want you I to do. I'm just no. kidding. <laughs> if there's ketchup, I'd be done. All right, so going home, your off seasons, what do those look like? What, what are some of the activities you like to do when you're uh, not here every day? Golf, I golf, basically every day. I like, uh, work out with like, uh, like my best friends at my gym too. My, and like Wally and Fabs are there too, so mm. I'll plug them in there. But it's mostly just golf and then go to like the lake and just hang out with the guys on yeah. the weekend, so. All right, so I was talking to Wally, you brought up Jake Wallman, I was talking to him in the locker room and I said, what should I ask Matt Luff about? He said, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 it's actually pretty good. That's good. He said, you're the best Fortnite player on the team. That's the biggest lie ever. He's trying to get me to plug him. Why is he? he's the best player on the team. Um, uh, he, he doesn't let me play with him because I'm that bad. <laughs> he's got like standards. Right? Like, you're like the Rudolph of the group. Yeah, they won't let you play in any game. He, he baited you with that question. <laughs> That's outrageous. But yeah, I'm going to plug him. He's the best Fortnite player on our team. He threw you under the bus and you still plugged him? I'm that nice kind of guy, guy, you know? Matt That's Love. what we are. Yeah, no, I'm not that good at Fortnite. I'm I, not me. So. Are, you not, are you a video game guy at all? Yeah. Yeah. Just not, not too good <laughs> Not too good. I try hard, you know? So I want to ask you a little bit. You have a handful of tattoos. You have a full sleeve, correct? Yeah. All right. How many tattoos do you think you have? Does a full sleeve count as one? No. They're all different tattoos. Oh, my God. <laughs> so I got a whole arm. I got half a leg, which I wanted to be a full leg, but I got axed. Oh, Is it the question. same? Same side, yeah. Okay. Every, all my tattoos Don't are Don't you feel heavier on that side? <laughs> no, sadly not. If I was, I would have got hurt. <laughs> but oh, yeah, that's, that's what sucks is that, like, the scar is right through my tattoo, but I'm going to get, like, I'm going to get it, like, uh, red like through it where the, like, the thing is. Just there you as, go. Like, a, Battle wounds. Yeah, so I'm all on the left side, and then I have mm -hmm. just two on my right. So I got bet on yourself, which kind of like just been a quote my dad said to me since I was like 14, 15, like not the easiest road to get to where I've been. And mm -hmm. it's kind of just a reminder. Then I have my first angel goal in game in Roman numerals behind my elbows. Oh, that's cool. And then I got a line with a crown on my leg, which was just supposed to be part of a full sleeve. It's because I had a guy in like NBA 2K and it was just like, I designed a leg sleeve and I was like, oh, that looks sick. You copied the tattoo of a player that you played. Yeah, I, I designed, you design your own guy in the streets. And like, <laughs> I made my guy to like see him. I was like, he looks kind of cool. That's why you decided you wanted the like. Yeah. Really. So my like has no meaning, but like I got all my, my parents and my sister's birthdays on my ribs. And then I got, I got Dove here. That's my dad. I got a big one that goes like all over my shoulder for like my mom. Then me and my sister have would be like L in the alphabet, but in Roman numerals, like what number that'd be mm -hmm. on our ribs. And then I just got, you know, just a clock, some quotes. And like my first ever tattoo is up here. What was your first ever tattoo? It's respect the past, create the future. So oh, that's a cool quote. Yeah, it's, I got drafted kind of late in the OHL and I thought mm -hmm. it would go a bit higher. And mm -hmm. it's kind of one of those things for me. Yeah, it's just like, it is what it is. Like yeah. be thankful you got drafted, but yeah. like, you make like what goes on in the, in the ahead of you. So my thing is like, I just want tattoos by different guys. Okay. So like I have like five different tattoo artists on my body. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So like I got a guy from Peru did my bottom half. A guy from LA did my top half. A guy from Oakville did like other stuff. Oh, that's so cool. It's kind of wherever I go. Like I want to get one in Detroit. Yeah, now you need one in Detroit. Yeah. So it's kind of like wherever I go, I want to do something and I try and like sneak in like teams I played for like mm -hmm. on there. Like, so. You gonna get the wing wheel? Yeah, I gotta, get, I gotta, I gotta figure out how to do something. Like I was gonna do like maybe like get like a six somewhere, and then it's like original six, and yeah. I'm from Toronto. But yeah, like I got my dog's <laughs> paw somewhere up here, right? Oh. So yeah, it's my dog. Tell Cause... me about your dog. His name's Meatball. Meatball. Yeah, Meatball. He's an English bulldog. I got him when I first got into the league, so he's getting up there. We're going to. He's six. We're going to year seven next year, so it's kind of sad because like I had him as a puppy, and mm. now it's like we're growing all together. Oh. <laughs> but uh, you're getting the aches and pains together. Yeah. <laughs> but it was nice. Like I came home from surgery, and he was right there in bed with me, so it was awesome. And Meatball obviously can't get on the bed, so he'll just be full like <laughs> arms. You get him stairs. No, I got him stairs on Amazon, and my mom's he like, "What are these for?" I'm like, Meatball. He looks at him, he's like, he stands aside and we'll put his arm, little paws on the bed and start barking. And I'm like, guess I'm lifting, you know? So it's funny. He runs the household. So your girlfriend, she has a clothing brand, yeah. storefront. Yeah. 
Can you tell me a little bit about that? That's really cool. Do yeah. you help out? Are you picking clothes out with her? I do kind of the men's like golf section to oh, very help her cool. there. And then yeah. No, I'm mostly like the Swiffer guy in the morning. I'm out there again, like the dust from the ground and everything. So, I'll help her. but no, she's awesome with what she does. I mean, obviously it takes a lot to uh, mm -hmm. open those kinds of stores. And, yeah. But I think it's another thing that like, I respect and like how yeah. she hustles. And she's got a, two stores in Muskoka, which are just outside of Barrie. Mm -hmm. And then one now in Palm Beach, Florida. So if anybody's in the Palm Beach area and wants to get their wife or girlfriend or fiance something, there's stuff there. So, I mean, she's What's awesome. What's it called? It's called Koo, it's C-O-U. All right, shameless plug. Yeah, so shop Koo on Instagram, she's on there, but it's awesome, she's doing a good job, and I think uh, it's pretty cool to watch that, all that become a thing since I've been there, since the opening. What's like a fun fact about you? Oh my God, I feel like people always ask me these, and it's like, is like a shoe head like a thing? Like a, a, dick, a, like sneaker, a sneaker head? head? Yeah, yeah, yeah. a sneaker head? Oh yeah, like too many pairs of sneakers. Like, like how many is too many? Um, basically, like if you go into my garage in my house in Oakville, I have four. Like I, don't know, I probably will have like 120 there. Nikes. Yeah, it's like in season. It's bad. I'll be on the plane. I'm just like 20 Nikes at least. Yeah, and like 60 pairs of like Nike golf shoes. It's just, it's bad. 60 pairs of golf yeah, it's shoes. Bad. But my parents lo like my dad loves it. If I'm like down with a pair, he just takes them. He's like, yeah, look at me. I'm <laughs> right, like. That works. I'm like 58. <laughs> Rockets and pandas. <laughs> Matt, I can't thank you enough for finally joining me on Coffee with Carly. It was an absolute pleasure to have you and get to know you. Oh, thanks for having me. I'm glad I'm one piece for it. <laughs> yeah, same. Thanks for watching Coffee with Carly presented by Tim Hortons.